Why not Yiddish? It made this ah with me. It's a very personal thing for me. It has passion and anger. It sounds beautiful in your ears. It's, it, it tastes good. But then the more you learn, the more there is to learn. It doesn't feel academic, it really feels vibrant. I understand that knowing language opens many doors to knowing culture better. Because Yiddish has been lived in as a language and culture in so many different countries. Uh, it's just so alive. So that's why Yiddish, that's why I love it. I think Workman's Circle created such an interesting atmosphere. You should go to the Workman's Circle for classes because it's the only place where you can find this level of instruction in this kind of Hamish atmosphere. The closest Yiddish program in New York City to where I live and it was the most cost effective, frankly, and also it's very highly regarded. Very conveniently located in Midtown Manhattan. The online class was really, really convenient. It was just nice to know that no matter where I was, even if I could go to the library and like have a room for an hour or if I'm home for an hour, it was set in stone no matter where I was. What I think is great that they invite everyone to study here. You don't have to be Jewish, you don't have to know Yiddish before. You can be whoever you want to be and come out as whoever you want to be. I mean, I didn't even know the Aleph Bays when I started. Uh, I started in the beginner's class. I'm quite a beginner in Yiddish still. In four weeks, I can read Yiddish now. The person that instructed my class was awesome and was very enthusiastic and very kind. And the teachers are all really incredible. I mean, I've taken with a couple of people here. Very special, unique. Like, you don't meet this person every day on the street. It's really because of Kolya, Borodulin, and the Workman Circle that I can read and I just, it's changed my life. Workman Circle. <laughs>